Imagine a customer comes to your workshop, the problem. Depression's in the roof of his Mercedes GL. Responsible for this can be the glue between roof and insulation boards. If the glue strips are of different thickness, they expand differently under the heat of the sun, and the result? Unsightly depressions. Before you start, the roof liner must be removed. Please consider that this takes some time. We've already taken care of this and can take out the roof liner from the vehicle. For the repair, you'll need the following tools shown here. Attention! Only use the glue with the part number faded on your screen below. When the roof line is removed, you'll see both insulation boards under it. Number and form of the boards can change according to equipment. Remove the insulation boards, which are in the area of the depressions. Then the glue strips are next. They can be easily removed with suitable tools. But don't scrape it all away, as a little left over can help you, as a stencil and primer for the new glue. Take care while working with sharp objects not to damage the paint of the roof. Even with smaller scratches, they must be mended before you can continue. Attention! If depressions are in the roof bow, cut open this glue strip and renew. So, that's it for the removal. Now proceed with the installation of the new boards. When you use a new nozzle, use a round point and cut off about 2 mm. As a rule of thumb, one glue strip should be about 5 mm in diameter, and that should work out well. And nothing stands in the way of the installation. Just aim, press, and apply. A vacuum cleaner provides for the right sealing pressure. Set it to high and put it on the intended hole and the vacuum pressure presses the cardboard to the roof. The shown GL has two insulation boards. Of course, the front one must also be renewed. Done. Now the GL looks wonderfully smooth again, even from the bird's eye view, and will remain so thanks to the correct glue.